Hi guys, Patrick Agnetti here from NoibGeeks.com At itong Cherry Mobile Aqua S9 Max is currently the local brand's mid-range superstar sa market Priced at 9,999 pesos Itong device na to has a set of features that are poised to offer a great value for the price Pero yun nga lang, ito ba talaga yung dapat na smartphone na kunin nyo? Well, we'll find out here in our food review But before proceeding, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Now, as you can see, itong smartphone na to, sobrang kamukha niya yung Redmi Note 8 Pro. Mula dun sa camera orientation, yung pagkakalagay ng fingerprint scanner, and especially itong jade green color option. Now, for most people, siguro frowned upon yun, yung pangungobya. Pero at least, Cherry Mobile copied from the right source. Meron siyang glass-like surface, which is, I think, plastic pa rin, considering the price. Meron din siyang screen protector, pero katulad ng mga smartphones, hindi siya pre-applied. So kasama siya dun sa box at ikaw mismo yung mag apply nun ng sarili mo. Still, overall, we're really liking the design and build nito smartphone na to. I mean, hindi man siya yung pinaka-original na design, pero at least it feels sturdy. So hindi na talaga siya flex wala akong weird na squeaking sound na narinig. Plus, it provides confidence na magtatagal yung smartphone na to. Katulad na lang din ng Redmi Note 8 Pro at then Cherry Mobile Aqua S9 Max is powered by a MediaTek Helio G90T processor. At itong processor na to sobrang trusty at tested na as you might know. And with the Aqua S9 Max, meron siyang kasamang 4GB of RAM and 128GB of expandable storage. With that, the performance was really smooth especially for a 10,000 smartphone so taking pictures, Browsing through social media, making calls, at kung ano pa, was very doable sa smartphone na to. And of course, sa gaming din, no? so we tried playing Call of Duty Mobile with the graphic settings set to high, tapos yung frame rate is set to max. And we were able to play that game for hours nang wala masyadong noticeable na frame drops at relatively smooth naman siya. So you can only expect na okay rin siya for games like League of Legends, Wild Rift, and Genshin Impact. Now, lahat ng performance nila yun, ma-enjoy mo sa kanya 6.53 inch Full HD Plus IPS display. Now, it may not be the most good-looking display around, but it does the job well. Meron din tayong single bottom firing speaker. Ngayon, katulad na ng screen, usable naman siya, especially for private listening. Yung nga lang yung sound quality, yung sound balance is hindi ganun kaganda. For a better sound listening experience, pwede mong gamitin yung libre earpods. I mean, Headphones dun sa box. Kaya ako nasabing earpods kasi medyo kamukha siya ng Apple earpods. But, okay rin yung headphones na yun. Or, kung may pera ka, pwede ka rin bumili ng mas magandang pair of earphones from Cherry Mobile or any other manufacturers. Dahil sobrang dami ng budget earphones ngayon. Uh, wala pang 1,000 yung budget earphones ka na. So. Sa taas ng screen, meron tayong water drop notch which houses yung 32 megapixel selfie camera. For some reason, possibly dahil sa software, it doesn't take the best selfies, especially for a 32 megapixel sensor. But it's more than enough for, you know, TikToks and video calls and whatnot. Sa likod naman, meron tayong 48 megapixel main camera, 8 megapixel ultra wide, 2 megapixel macro, and 2 megapixel depth sensor. Your main shooter can take great images, especially for the price. So, meron siyang vibrant colors, deep contrast, acceptable dynamic range. Sa low light nga lang, medyo softer ng image, pero usable pa rin. Yung namang ultra wide will give you flexibility. So, kung magpipicture ka ng group shots or buildings and whatnot, so makakaram mo lahat ng subject into a single frame. Yung nga lang yung macro, medyo hindi ganun kaganda yung quality, tsaka kahit ilapit mo, para out of focus siya, so medyo useless siya. Plus, yung depth sensor, for some reason, dun sa camera app, Baka kami nakita ang portrait mode that would help utilize the depth sensor. So, I think software update lang to, fix na to, or baka hindi ko lang makita for some reason. Siguro ang pinaka main issue ko lang dito sa Cherry Mobile Aqua S9 Max, issue ka niyang interface. So, this device runs on Android 10, which is fine. Yung nga lang for some reason, Cherry Mobile, and actually even any other brands, 
they insist on using their own interface on top of Android. And sa case na tong smartphone na to, yung interface niya looks really outdated. Tsaka may mga bagay na parang, for the lack of a better term, mga bagay na parang walang kwenta at it doesn't make sense. Sana, I wish, no, Cherry Mobile would just stick to stock Android look. Tituloy na lang ng ginagawa ni Nokia and a few other brands. Para at least, di na sila mga problema mag-come up ng interface at Actually, yung stock Android look looks much cleaner and mas komportable gamitin than yung mga outdated or tangit na interface na katulad na meron pang smartphone. Moving on, isa sa pinakamalaking feature, literal, ng smartphone na to is yung kanyang 5,130 mAh battery. Yun nga lang, for some reason, during our testing, hindi ganun ka ganda yung naging performance niya for a 5,000 mAh smartphone. Siguro dahil katulad na nandun sa camera, uh, kailangan pa ng software update para mas ma-optimize yung battery. Also, since malaki nga yung battery niya, sana meron siyang reverse charging feature. So, para sa mga hindi familiar yung reverse charging, basically, Pwede mo siya saksakan ng OTG cable sa smartphone mo, pwede siya maging power bank. So, pwede ka mag-share ng battery sa ibang friends or kung meron kang accessories like headphones, smartwatch. So, pwede siya maging power bank. Kasi itong feature na to, nakikita na natin sa mga ibang smartphones that are also on this similar price range. Now, verdict time. As you can see, the Cherry Mobile Aqua S9 Max has the right set of features to justify its price tag. For starters, yung design niya, although hindi original, pero sobrang okay ng build niya and it feels like it would last long. Plus, yung curved back niya feels really comfortable in the hands. Meron din siyang large and immersive screen, reliable performance, and of course, a competitive price tag. And for a lot of people, itong mga key features na to, especially yung performance at price, yun yung pinaka-importante sa kanila. Lalo na sa mga ang budget eh, nasa around 10,000 lang katulad ng smartphone na to. Siguro for me, ang kulang na smartphone na to eh, software updates. So software updates that will fix yung ibang issues sa camera, battery optimization, and sana mas malinis na interface overall. But other than that, ito yung Cherry Mobile Aqua S9 Max is one of the most appealing smartphones in this price range. And speaking of the price, itong smartphone na to officially retails for 9,999 pesos. And actually, at the time of making this video, na ispata namin siya sa Cherry Shop, which is Cherry Mobile's own online website, for only 9,999 pesos. And during yung mga monthly sales, like 3-3 or 4-4, Possibly ring makuha nyo siya for only 7,999 pesos. Plus, meron pa siyang free wireless speaker, I think, uh, game controller, tsaka tempered glass, kung ano-ano pa. So, tsamba nyo yung mga ganun freebies and special discount para mas sulit itong smartphone na to. Well, basically, that's it. Again, this has been Pash Kanyete from NoiPeaks.com for more detailed look about the Cherry Mobile Aqua S9 Max. That's a mouthful. Uh, you can check all of the available links down below so we have a written revision for more details. Plus, you might also want to hit the like button, share this video, like it, subscribe if you still have it. Hit the bell icon so you can notify every time I post a video. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thank you for watching.